In this lecture, we will discuss about deviation of reflected ray by rotated mirror. So let us say we have a plane mirror. and a light ray is incident on this plane mirror and incident ray makes an angle I. This ray gets reflected and makes the angle R with the normal. So this is the normal. This is incident ray. This one is reflected ray. We know from law of reflection that is angle I is equals to angle R. Angle I that is angle of incidence is equals to angle R that is angle of reflection. This angle is called glancing angle. So, Z means glancing angle. If this angle is Z, then this angle will also be equals to Z because I and R are basically same. So, this angle is also equals to Z. Now, let us extend this line, incident line. So, this is the extension of incident ray. So, incident ray is basically coming in this direction, but reflected ray is going in this direction. So, basically this ray, incident ray has deviated by this angle and let us call this angle is D. So, D is the angle of deviation. Now this angle will also be equals to Z. You see these two angles are opposite angles and from geometry we know that opposite angles are equal. So this angle is Z. So what is total deviation? that is D is equals to Z plus Z that is 2Z. So, deviation of this line incident ray is 2Z. So, in general we can say the angle of deviation of a ray by a plane mirror or plane surface we can have plane surface or mirror is twice the glancing angle. So, whenever we have a light incident on a plane surface, deviation is twice the glancing angle. So, you can remember this result deviation is twice of glancing angle. Now, let us rotate this plane mirror. So, initially we have this is the plane mirror. This is the initial situation of plane mirror and this is the incident ray and the angle made by incident ray to the plane mirror is Z. Now, let us rotate this plane mirror by the angle of theta. So, this angle is theta. So, this is the plane mirror. After rotation of angle of theta, so this is rotated about this point. Now, this is the reflected ray 
this is the normal incident tray incident tray will remain same now in this case we can find what is the deviation of reflected ray so this is the direction of incident ray this is the total deviation of reflected ray let us call this as d2 so in this case we can find deviation of reflected ray and we know deviation is two times glancing angle glancing angle two times glancing angle and glancing angle is the angle made by incident ray to the plane surface now plane surface and incident ray now makes an angle of z plus theta so glancing angle this time is z plus theta so deviation d2 is 2 into z plus theta now if this plane mirror is not rotated like something like this and same incident ray we have in that case we have deviation let us call this is d1 and we have proved this deviation is 2 into z glancing angle is z so you see by rotating the mirror we have extra deviation that is initially this ray was going in this direction finally now is going in this direction so we have extra deviation so if I can plot this is the reflected ray before any rotation of mirror so this one is reflected ray before any rotation of mirror this means this is the extra deviation of reflected ray or we can say this reflected ray has bent by extra angle and this is this angle and this angle we can easily calculate this is d2 and this deviation is d1 because deviation is always calculated from incident direction and incident direction is fixed so we can calculate extra rotation of reflected ray this is equals to d2 minus d1 that is 2g plus 2 theta that is d2 minus d1 is 2z so we will have 2 theta now we can generalize this result so we can say if the direction of an incident ray is constant the angle of rotation of the reflected ray is twice the angle of rotation of mirror so that is if I rotate a mirror by theta angle so this is the mirror and if I rotate this mirror by theta angle reflected ray will rotate by angle of 2 theta so this is the initial direction situation number 1 and this is situation number 2 
So this angle of rotation is 2 theta. If this angle is theta, for example, if mirror rotates by 4 degree, the reflected will turn through a angle of 8 degree. So we can say for example, by 4 degree angle, the reflected ray will rotate or will turn by 8 degree angle. So, this is about rotation of a reflected ray if the plane mirror is rotated.